Hello YouTube, I'm back and today I got another modification you can do to your Fury B F36. So this is the modification I'm going to do. You got a stock battery and we have a larger battery. The stock battery is 150 milliamp 20C uh, LiPo 3.7 volt 1S and we're going to put this EA Sheen 260 milliamp 3.7 volt 1S 30C in here. So you're almost doubling your milliamps there, but it is, does add some weight. So first of all, let's get these weighed out. And I know you guys probably can't see this, the numbers on this, but we got the stock battery is 5.7 grams and the EA Sheen battery is seven grams so just a little more than a uh, one and a half grams is what you're actually adding to this 1.6 grams so that's not too much weight to add to these things these things only weigh 20 grams without the uh, 15 6 without the battery and 21 with the battery and when you put this one on here 22 6 so that's all you're adding to it that's not much so these batteries here, you got your stock battery. As soon as I quit dropping things. Uh, your stock battery here is 17.6 wide, 17.7 almost, and 802 thick, and 24 long. Okay, and your Yashin battery is just shy of 16.8 wide by 7.8 thick but it's a lot longer so you're looking at 33 millimeters long so that's quite a bit longer than a stock battery so here's what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how to modify the Fury B to be able to use either your stock battery or your longer battery this way you can use both. That way you're not wasting your stock batteries. But uh, yeah, the EA Sheen 260 milliamp battery is what we're gonna modify this for. So what you need is a pair of clippers, uh, cutters. And you just use little wire cutters. Now on the back, so the battery goes in this way into the quad. This is the stock battery. And it fits nice in there just like that. And you have plenty of room to plug it in. But when you stick this one in there, you can't even plug it in, it blocks it. Now, you can clip this out, but you don't want to clip it out completely. The back piece right here, I don't know if you guys can see this in here, there's this piece right here, the back panel. You're going to clip it, but you're not going to clip it all the way through. You're going to clip it a little bit to the side of the quad not to the back because you don't want that poking into your battery. So you're going to clip it just a little bit to the back and hopefully you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. You'll clip it down about two thirds to three quarters of the way down. You don't want to go all the way down. You want to leave a little bit of space there. And you'll clip it. Hopefully that clipped through. Yeah, there we go. Got that one clipped. And you clip the other side the same way towards the outside a little bit. And you want to go down three, three, uh, two thirds to three quarters of the way down. Now clipped off really nice. And then you're going to take this and you're going to bend it back, gently bend it back. And now you can still put your stock battery in there, and it will stop it. Okay. Or now you can put the larger battery in. And you can push it through a little bit and that little flap will actually hold it in place now you can push it back a little further to get it plugged in and once you plug it in once you plug it in you can just push the battery forward a little bit and right up against the wire there and that's centered now it will not drift because of the excess weight on one side or the other so it evens it out nice and now you can use either your stock battery or your larger battery for the EA Sheen 260 milliamp battery. 
Now I'm going to do a comparison on flight time with these two batteries here. So hang around for that. Okay, I'm back and uh, I'm up in the living room here because it's the only place I have room to fly this thing. Now I got my trusty little timer here and we got the Fury B. We have the 150 milliamp stock battery and we have the 260 milliamp EA Sheen battery. So we're going to start with the stock battery. We're going to put that in here. This is the stock battery. And we're going to get this plugged in as soon as I get my timer set up. Okay, got it plugged in. Now we're going to get it uh, calibrated here. Turn on the transmitter. Okay, so now we're going to start the timer and we're going to get it up in the air as soon as I get the camera turned here. Okay, starting the timer. And we're in the air. Let's see if I can keep this thing in the camera. Okay, so this is stock battery. We'll see how much time we get on this. I think I already did a uh, time test on it when I first unboxed it. But we were kind of messing around with it at that point, so we didn't really get a flight time to speak of accurately. So we're just going to kind of do a little bit of moving around here. Not going to do nothing fancy. A controlled test is just not real world, so I want to make sure that we're getting an accurate, somewhat accurate flight time. Because you know you're not going to just sit there and hover, you're going to be flying around. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part of the video just to save some time on it. You'll at least still see this thing flying around. Okay, and there we go with the lights flashing, showing the batteries going low. And we turn off the timer and we have 4 minutes and 11 seconds. That's not too bad. I've got a couple of batteries on a couple of other ones that are uh, I get almost 5 minutes out of before it starts flashing. So let's unplug this. And we got to let this cool down before I can do the other test, the other battery. So I'm just going to leave this sit over here and I'll be right back with that. Okay, we're back with this and now we're going to do the EA Sheen 260 milliamp battery. We just did the stock battery. So let's put this back in here. Let's get this turned on. Push the battery up there. Okay. Let's get this calibrated. Okay, <clears throat> and then we're going to start the, trend, the uh, timer here. And get this thing in the air. Now, this uh, larger battery doesn't really affect it at all. I mean, Maybe just a little. I have if you're sensitive enough to what it's doing, you might notice a very minute difference. So we're just gonna see how long this goes till the battery light starts blinking. <coughs> now this is a 30C battery rather than a 20C, so it does deliver more current at a time. Or is capable of delivering more current, so it's probably pulling a little bit more at a time.
we're gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward this video here so we can save some time. And there's the battery light flashing. Let's bring it back over here. <clears throat> and we got 4 minutes and 28 seconds. So that's not much of a difference there. 4 minutes, cut off 11 seconds for that getting it started. Cut off about uh, 10 seconds for getting that other one started. So we only got about 20 extra seconds out of it. And I do have some of these... Uh, EA machine batteries that do give me a few more seconds, probably about another 30 seconds than that on some of these quads. So, uh, yeah, there wasn't a big difference between the 260 milliamp battery and the stock 150. So, there's your results on that. Now, I am going to do some other modifications to this Fury B um, in another video here. I'm going to be comparing the stock battery with the larger battery on uh, two bladed props so keep an eye out for that video thanks for watching